so today's video I am going to be doing a non editing version so you're gonna see everything all my mistakes that I make everything because I want this to be real I don't want any editing to go into it um, except right at the beginning I'll put like a little clip of what it is and everything um, like I usually do but apart from that the actual video of me speaking there'll be no editing going on whatsoever so I'm just saying that now um, also I'm going to just say trigger warning for anybody um, I don't know what I'm going to say so I'm just putting it there just in case um, you know just in case I don't know what I'm going to say so this video is quite hard for me to speak or do <laughs> it's quite a hard video for me to do um, but I need to do it um, I want to share this with you guys but yeah okay so some of you may or may not know that yesterday I had a mental health assessment at the mental health centre let's say um, but before we get into that I'd actually been referred three times before um, the first time I was referred I went to the assessment and then I was told that I wasn't sick enough so to just go so that's what happened and I got worse the last two times I was referred I just didn't show up because I was too scared to go in case the same thing was going to happen again and that I was just going to be left um, I felt like I was abandoned like nobody cared that's what it was like and I was terrified the same thing was going to happen again so every time I was referred I just kind of was like no I can't go I can't go and it gave me so much anxiety I was panicking and having panic attacks um, which leads me on to what happened yesterday um, I got there like 10 minutes before and I didn't go in for 5 minutes because I was ha I had a panic attack outside before I'd even gone in um, and I was worrying so much I thought what if the same thing happens again what if what if nobody cares enough to help me I just expected that to happen but, the, but then the person came out and she called me up um, and she wasn't a therapist she wasn't a psychiatrist she was um, a social worker and I don't know she just seemed so nice and she was really nice um, my assessment was only meant to be an hour and sorry I'm getting really upset because it's quite emotional to talk about um, my assessment was only meant to be an hour and I was there for nearly three hours um, yeah it was a long session it was long um, and I actually opened up to her about something that I'd never told anybody um, and I can't I'm not gonna say what it is um, If you really are interested in what it is that I opened up to her about, you can tweet me um, and I'll private message you. But I would rather not say it on here. Um, so yeah, I opened up to her about something that happened when I was 15. Um, there's still a couple of other things that I haven't yet been able to open up about um, to her or my therapist, which I think is just one of those things that I will have to do eventually but I'm struggling to actually do or even talk about because I'm having a lot of flashbacks and stuff that happened when I was younger like teenage years and some from when I was about nine with my dad um, yeah but anyway the session went really well and then kind of near the end of it she got a doctor to come and see me because let's just say I haven't really been taking my medication like I was supposed to um, I'm not going to say why because there was a reason behind it um, but they've, been, they've put me back on it um, and it sounds so stupid but I'm scared to take it again I don't I don't know. 
I don't even know what's wrong. It's like one of those things. I just, I don't want to be on medication my whole fucking life. But it feels like I am going to be. Um. So yeah, that happened. What is wrong with my hair? Okay, I've just realised. Sorry guys. Um. Yeah, I get distracted really easily, as you can tell. Um. But yeah, the lady that I actually spoke to, she was amazing. Like, she's just as good as my um, CBT therapist. Obviously different, like, they're not the same, obviously, because she's a social worker and my therapist is a CBT therapist. So there's, th but I think they're both as good as each other, but in different ways, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I opened up to her about something and she was really good about it. Because um, she asked me, I'll kind of explain it in the best way I can. She asked me about something, um, and I hesitated answering. And I actually didn't tell her the truth at first. And then she obviously asked me. She said, "Well, what was the hesitation?" And then that's when I kind of said, "Oh, actually, blah, 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 that happened." Um, so she was really good about it. But yeah, as I was saying, when she got the doctor to come in, um, he was so, oh, he was, he was saying to me that if we put you on medication, it won't stop you from self-harming. I was like, yeah, I know that. I wasn't on the medication in the first place to stop me from self-harming. Um... And then once he got his head around the fact that I had actually been on the medication before, um, he then said, "When your mood increases, may um, that the when your mood increases, the self harming should stop." I was like, even when I was on it before on the high dosage, I was still self harming. It wasn't like a complete end to the self harm. And I was getting really angry at him because he was just getting me so annoyed. And then he said, this was the thing that, sorry, I'm going to get upset. He said, we'll give you the medication and then you can go. And you won't need to come back. And it upset me because I felt like nobody cared nobody was wanting to help i was trying to get the help i needed and it felt like nobody was listening to what i was saying but then the lady that did my assessment um actually spoke to him in private and she came back and she said i didn't agree with a lot of what he said she said i agree you need to be back on the medication but she said i don't agree with pretty much all of what he said and said you will be seeing me every week and I felt so relieved because she was just so good and she was making sure I was getting the help I need because if it had been up to him I wouldn't have been seeing anyone but it wasn't up to him I just hate hate feeling like this hate it so yeah basically <laughs> um sorry my thingy went off um basically i will be seeing her every single week and i'll be seeing my cbt therapist every week as well and then obviously if with my cbt um it goes to every two weeks then it would be good to have the extra support in between. Um, so yeah, that's what happened yesterday. Um, my next video, which I will either be going up tonight or tomorrow, is going to be about my a &E experience with self-harming and everything. So yeah that's what happened today and yesterday and I don't know what I'm talking about now um yeah thank you for watching everyone and 
yeah. I know it wasn't that long, but I just kind of wanted to kind of do a quick, a quick update on what happened yesterday because it was going to be too much otherwise to go in depth about it. But I will do my next video on my A and E experience, so it might not be up till tomorrow. So, yeah. Alright then guys, thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow hopefully. Or you'll see me anyway. So, right then, bye.